kind of YouTuber to a chef here. <coughs> it's the 30th of December. I'm just watching Phil Taylor versus Kimmy Hydric. I hope Phil Taylor gets beat. Big cup of tea. Hope everyone's had a great Christmas. And if you're watching this, either it'll be New Year's Eve or be New Year's Day. <coughs> so, Happy New Year if you're watching this late. <laughs> hope everyone's had a great Christmas. I've had a really good Christmas. This is going to be the first of two videos because I've got my um, pickups and I've got my Christmas gifts if you want like gaming related stuff I've got it all over here um, but yeah I hope everyone's good um, been off since the 19th of December 19th is it Friday yeah I was off since the 19th so it's had a good time off been relaxing playing with you really to be honest with you and doing things with a family which is nice uh, everyone's in bed uh, except for me because I'm going to do this videos and then I might play Alien uh, one of my Christmas gifts which I've spoiled now <laughs> yeah um, a few pickups not not nothing you know well a couple of good bits not, not a lot really because um where I've been busy at work and coming home and doing things for Christmas, having a lot of time, I'm sure everyone's in the same boat. Um, I've got some news about my work as well to tell everyone, so that'd be cool. Um, so, I'll do my eBay. Is it there? One, two, three, four. Pretty much all. There's two more things I need to get. So, I'll do these first. See, so yeah, I've noticed um, Sega Saturn Lad Scott show his Sega Panini cards, if you want to call them, and I thought, yeah, I thought I'd get my ones out as well. So I've got I've got a whole wad here. I can't remember if it's every single one, but um, I need to get a nice little folder like he had and see which ones I'm missing. I, I don't think I've got every single one. Some good games in here. I mean, oh, these I had these when I was a kid. So, and they're, they're still in good shape, I mean, I was going to have a good one. He'd done a video about that, so I thought I'd just, I thought I, when I saw him show them, I thought I might as well show him my ones. I need to go, I need to go through them, actually, see what I've got left, so I'm going to put them in a nice folder after seeing Scott's. I'm just messaging at the moment with Walter, my good friend the Highlander. He's messaging, we're messaging each other as we speak. Um, what should I do? Water to do it, really. Uh, so I'll do this one first. Um, I've got this game on um, PS3 and I've got it on the Wii U. But I haven't got the special edition on the PS3, so I noticed that this I was selling. For 99p, um, it was it was ending soon, so it was ending in a couple of minutes. I bid for it, and I won it for 99p. However, it's gone up free too, <clears throat> um, and it's actually the art book from Batman: Arkham City, um, which is cool. I mean, if you've never seen it, it's in great condition. I should buy the I should buy the special edition game. Really, it's got all the pictures in it from the game. All the drawings and whatever else. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. But the other cool thing about it was in the back was the game. So I've already got the game on the PS3, but um, so well, we should message me back. Uh, yep. So that was 99p, and I think it was about two pound to send it. So that was great. Um, another last minute little deal. Didn't think I was going to get it off because normally these kind of games they go for, well, I think I've seen this go for about £8, £10, maybe more. Um, and it is Mega Man Dr. Willy's Revenge on the Game Boy. And I got this for, this was 99p as well, last minute bid. 
it's just plays just like Mega Man 2 really to be fair to it. All, well all the Mega Man's it plays very similar. It's tough though, very tough. Um, I'm loving my PSP at the minute. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago now. Uh, my wife's cousin uh, got it off her. So I've been loving this in there, so I picked up a few more games. These are all, I think they're all what? This one was $1.99. You know, I had to get this after getting the, the Capcom collections. The next one is the Capcom collection reloaded. So I've got remixed, now I've got reloaded. But this one's got 1942, 943, 943 Kai, Commando, Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghosts and Goblins, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Street Fighter, if you can see the back, I don't know if it's going to pick it up enough. But yeah, that was one ninety nine. Um, this one was a gift from my, my boss at work, uh, my boss James. He gave me Major League Baseball, which I've never played, but he, he, I played, well, I played them before on other consoles, but not on the PSP. And the last two I got on the PSP, these were, I think, like £3 all in. So it's stupid, and I grabbed them. It's uh, Monster Hunter Freedom. One and two, so I've got both of them. So Monster Hunter one, if you want to call it that, and then number two. Next to nothing, PSV. So I'm loving that at the minute. The next one, I've already got this, um, but I only really wanted the box. But I kind of got a little bit confused when I read the article on eBay. <coughs> it was just like. Um, the way it read, it was just still in the box. So I thought, that's fine. And I paid £3.67 for the for the box, basically. Well, well, I thought it was just the box. And I think it was about one fifty, one eighty, or £2 to send. So I was happy because I wanted the box for the game. When I got it delivered, when it got delivered, it was everything. So for, for I think it was £3.67, £3.87. Got another copy of International Superstar Soccer 2000. Which, if you don't know, is quite hard to get hold of. But it's the first ISS that had the um, the ability that you could create your own character, create your own player, and you'd go around, uh, you'd go through the stages of playing matches, getting your skills up, and getting to the first team. But say it's three sixty-seven, I think it was. The box is mint. Say so it's absolutely mint. But inside is is everything. I've got another game. It's got the other game still mint and the uh, manual which is like brand new so when I do eventually sort out all my games I'll be getting rid of the other one I know so I thought I picked this up I think early last year I think I don't want to damage it now oh, no, all right. Yeah, so that was 367, I think two pounds a cent, so that's cool. The next one, I think this was about ten pound all in. Um, I didn't actually know it was on the on the Dreamcast. Um, but hearing Daz talk about this game on the N64, I believe, a few times we have spoke about it. So I thought I'll give it a go. And it's Bangio or Bangio on the uh, Dreamcast. And this is absolutely mint. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was, I think it was a tenner a win or eleven pound a win, something like that. It's all in there, stuff. I haven't played it yet. It's still got a little bit of bub wrap in there, so I was happy with that. Looking forward to playing that. I know Daz talks about it quite a bit um, on the 64. I've never, so I've never seen it on the, on the Dreamcast. I don't know if it's like hard to get hold of or what, but. Saw it finishing and I thought I'll have it. So I'd say the last few weeks I've just been picking up stuff from the last minute deals. Um, the last two ones I've got, bear with me a second. They're in this my cupboard. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're PS4 games. So Like I said, I've been checking eBay for the last minute deals, just in general, all consoles really, because I haven't had time to pop a scale or anything. And these two games, two different sellers, 
One I got for three pound. Uh, with one pound something to send, so call it five quid. The other one was five pound, winning bid, and then two or three pound to send it. So for under fifteen pound, I got two PS4 games. Fair enough. One is FIFA 14. I wasn't going to buy it, but I thought it was so cheap. I thought I'd be silly not to. And the other one, which I've only just started to play, which it's it's all right. It's not bad. My wife likes it. It's, it's got it's got a good story. The storyline's quite good. Um, but we haven't played it too much yet. But it's murdered sole suspect. <clears throat> I said they're all complete. If you want to, well, you say complete. They've only got a bit of paper in them, haven't they? They ain't only got a manual. So, but yeah, I've got those two next to nothing, which is some of the, I've seen some of the stuff on the PS4 go for fairly cheap, under 10 15 pounds. So I was happy, well happy to get there, and I've seen Murdered Soul Suspect go for I think I saw it in CX for 15 or 18 pounds. So I was happy to get that. Uh, so 3 2 Taylor's two legs up or two one up in legs. Now I've got Reggie, uh, Cadillac Gamer, I don't know if you watch Metal Jesus, um, he's one of it, one of his mates and he shows all his old retro games, I'm trying to message him, see if I can get any games off him, <laughs> um, but no, that's, that's, that's all me, me pickups for the last couple of weeks, so that's not too much really, just just a few bits, mainly because it's just been Christmas, it's just been mad, isn't it? I'm sure everyone's been busy, I mean, to the UK, it looks like you haven't, you've been on YouTube like every day nearly. Every, every time I've been putting you up, putting up YouTube, you've come up. <clears throat> I mean, the Retron 5 looks pretty tasty. I think I might get one, get my missus to get me one for Valentine's or something. Um, put it in the living room, the lounge, the front room, the sitting room, whatever you bloody call it. Do you remember that one, boys? Bloody Carl. Um, so yeah, so a few things happening for me in the new year, um, non-game related. Um, I'm changing jobs. I'm still chefing, but I'm going to be the uh, head chef of a, the Olympia Exhibition Hall, which is in Kensington. Still working for the same company, but I'm moving from the XL to Olympia, um, mainly because it's going to be my own kitchen. I'll be the boss of the whole thing. Um, it's a new, brand new kitchen, it's been, it's been redeveloped and spent a few million pounds on it. And they want to bring the level up of the quality of the food and everything else. So, my bosses have asked me to go in because I'm, I'm like the young, the future of Compass, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll be going there in the middle of January, so XL got a few bits on before them. The boat show and a few other shows on before I, before I move over. So I'll be doing a total different drive. I'll be travelling from where I am in Essex, um, from the North East, all the way around to West London. So it's a bit more travelling for me. So I'm looking at changing cars. So I think a bit more faster in respect to the time I'll be leaving in the morning. I want to get there quickly so I can get out quickly and vice versa. Um, you know, just, I think it'd be good for me, I mean, uh, time will tell, I guess, um, who knows, who knows, but oh uh, yeah, that's all me pickups, and me saying a card off what I'd show off, um, I'm going to do another video in a minute, of my Christmas pickups, my Christmas gifts, one gift from a tuber who I'm sure you know who it is, because he's gifted to quite a few people. I've got some cool things for Christmas. Um, I'm wearing some of it already. Um, but everything else I've got here and a few bits on the side I'm going to show. But yeah, basically that's it. <laughs> I don't want to shout too much because like, everyone's sleeping upstairs. They've got a bit early. I don't want to go out into the, into the games room, shed room, whatever you want to call it because it's cold. And plus I'm watching the darts. Free all now. Woo. Taylor's. Uh, I used to like Taylor, but I'm not too sure in there. But anyway, thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you all again soon. <laughs> Bye-bye.